Sometimes you need a third hand. That's where the vise comes in. You gotta mount it so it's solid. This thing, it's a solid mount. This thing's not going anywhere. If I need to clamp something and hold it, you gotta use a vise. That's my advice on vices. One of the most important tools in your shop, or one of the most important features of a good shop, is a good vise. Um, get yourself a good machinist vise, uh, mount it to the bench, and obviously, you gotta have a good bench. Um, that's, that should be the first thing you do in your shop, you build, you build a nice bench. The, then the first thing you do after it's built is you mount your, your vise to it. Um, this is a Parker uh, vise. It's a machinist vise. It's three and a half inch jaws. Um, I don't do big work. I don't work on, you know, I don't put an engine block on my, on my bench. I, this is, you know, for gun repair, this is like machinist type things. I don't need a big, heavy, giant monster vise. Um, this three and a half inch jaw, it's, um, it's a quality vise. It's, it's, you know, I'm opening and closing one finger. Um, I, use, I use this Parker. Um, I actually inherited a, this Parker vise um, from, nah, it's not my grandfather, it's my, my stepmom's dad, my step-grandfather. But when Irving died, he left this vise attached to his bed. Now, he was a machinist. Um, you know, I tinker with tools and I play around. He was the real deal. He was an actual machinist. And this was his vice. Um, he, he did all the work on it. It was good enough for him. It's way better than anything I'll ever do. Um, but when you get your vice, mount it to the bench, put a light, put a light over it so you now you can see what you're doing. Um, and don't look back, but get a quality vice. Here's how you tell if you have a really good vice or not. You see how the jaws are parallel? I'll lock down on something on the far side here and I'll give it a pretty good tug, lock it down and the jaws are still parallel. Try that with your, try that with your cheap vise. That's in there very, very snug, and the jaws are still parallel. I loosen that up, and the jaws didn't really change. That's a good vise. This is, that's when you have a good machinist vise. Those jaws stay parallel, even though I clamp something off center. When you're mounting your vise on your bench, one of the things to consider, uh, I know a lot of guys like to have their vise at the corner of the bench so you can kind of get around your work a little bit. Um, I kind of like it more towards one side because um, I still have a bunch of bench on one side and I still have a little bit of bench on the other side if I want to support a piece. But one of the things you do want to think about is if you ever want to hold something vertically. You want to be able to clamp it in your vise and still be able to clear. So me off, I can show you guys that. You still, you still have something where you can clear the edge I can have this hang down below the below the bench. So don't mount your vise back where you can't mount something vertically in there. If I want to put it, I'm just using this ruler to show you. If I can clamp something something like a barrel or whatever, or a, or a stock even, if I wanted to clamp something down, I can go down below the level of the bench. So there is a there is a point where you do want to mount the mount the vise far enough to clear the bench. Something to consider. One of the one of the nicest features, you know, we looked at the, at the jaws and how this thing is, it's just a solid rugged vise. Um, but one of the things I really like about it is that if I loosen up this, loosen up this wrench, I do have that, that swivel feature. Um, I know a lot of guys on the internet say, oh, I don't like the swivel base. It's a sign of weakness. It's a, it's a sign of instability. And I, not for the work I do um, in uh, gunsmithing, I don't think that's at all a handicap. That's a huge advantage. And I'll show you why I think that. In this setup, this is one of the reasons why I like a swivel base vise. Um, I've turned the vise. There's this, this locking, this locking lever. It, this vise does swivel. If I had a barrel, I've got the jaws padded. If I had this barrel and it'd be, if, the, if this was a solid mounted vise, this barrel would be out floating in space. I can turn my vise, twist it. I can get, use my, use my step block here. Now I've got the vise holding one end of the barrel, and I've got the block supporting the other end. If I wanted to do like a shoe shine, if I wanted to sand on this or wanted to work on this, this is now much more stable than just clamping this in and having that out in space. So I can turn my whole vise, get it, so I've got the barrel supported now at both ends, lock it in place, and now it's a solid mount. This barrel is not going to go anywhere, whether I want to hone out a, a chamber or if I want to work on the, a, a crown or whatever I want to do on this barrel, you know, maybe work on the uh, dovetail the barrel's not gonna move and it's gonna be supported because I'm able to turn my vise. So that's the biggest reason why I really like the swivel base. All right, now you get an insight. Now you get an insight into my sickness. Um, not only did I get a really good vise that I inherited from Irving, but I went and found an exact duplicate vise. 
Um, another uh, model, uh, 973 and a half, so another Parker 3 and a half inch vise, they are duplicates. Um, I know you're thinking, John, you're sick. No, what I did is I had this second vise mounted six feet apart, had the two vices mounted six feet apart. That way I knew they'd be the same height, the same distance, the same all that, the same jaws. I'd be familiar with both. Um, what I did is I had them six feet apart. Now if I ever want to do something long, like an eight foot board, I can hold it in two different vices. What I found, it took up way too much space on my, on my bench. Even though I have a 12 inch, I have a 12 inch, I have a 12 foot, I have a, I have a 12 foot long workbench. Two vices on here just took up too much space. This one will be mounted on my second bench, which is off camera on the other side of this wall here behind. You can't see it from where you are. I can see it, you can't. Um, but I will mount the second vise on the other bench, so I'll have two basically identical workstations. Yeah, I know it's, it's a sickness. Twins.